Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day, night, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video reading. <clears throat> so, before I start, I just really got this message that something you have prayed for will come much earlier than expected. Yes, just really today, <clears throat> Personally, I'm, I was very surprised just this afternoon because my close friend, my bestie, she just gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. It's just amazing to see her earlier than expected. So I was just meditating before I started this reading. I just was just praying and get that message to whoever this message resonates with so <clears throat> now I've been guided to use three sets of cards so I think there's really emphasis about love connection as I will show you the card later so let's just start with the Really? No, it just really caught my attention because I I will use these sets of um, charms later. But as I put it down, it's one four three, one four four. These four charms were so excited, like that baby, mm, that beautiful soul. This five charms are just so excited to come out so i think i have to acknowledge this or we have to acknowledge this charms the first one came out the lion if you were guided to check my previous readings from the past three days there's really strong lion message coming out there and there's a unicorn a cat and a star well these are very beautiful charms so i suppose we need to see this first <clears throat> and see how it goes with the message um yeah um it's just really i think there's really message about strength here and when i first saw the lion it gives me that leo energy sign so that could be significant to you or to someone whom you are connected with and personally you have really gained that strength within and i think someone as well is gaining that strength and see you this magical being that you are and it's very uh, there's a spirit animal of cat as well so we have the 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 protection of this animal spirit to you and can be so significant to you both to you and to someone who is so connected to you i'm really getting now this yeah thank you that i need to focus on the twin flame connection but please resonate take it as how it resonates to your situation and personally as well because being a twin flame you can hear the bell yeah I got a message so i'm sending you out the, this message um through me it's really about self-empowerment and that will greatly affect that someone or other soul that is connected to you just all for all for wow <laughs> i would say this message is coming out better than i planned it like you see the charms later but there you go okay <laughs> I've been really so amazed for this like um past I like to use this one. Yeah. Uh past days because did I just say it, like this oh four thirty three three days and then this three of cups come out and look at the stars the galactic family there. So I think there's really um significant event. Or this past three days has been so significant to you and in your journey or maybe the next three days 
again and shuffled it and the Eight of Wands. I would say if you're if you are waiting for communication, it will happen. And you know it's coming. Wow. Wow. I just get a like in my comment to Lee Harris um post. Yeah. Um if you want to check him out, it's Lee Harris Energy and I've been reading currently reading now his second book um that book um interview with disease conversations with disease yeah i'm just looking at it now it's like it's calling me yeah it's really amazing if that's something we said to you please do so okay oh wow i just lit a candle a tea light candle in using adidas and it just really like brightened up more wow this makes me so excited so we're now using the like literally i said light the light sear style by chris <laughs> wow. just like this energy of excitement there is something about three. Just like 0636 there. Look. Oh my goodness. Wow. Three cards fell together on the floor. And another three set here. Just landed. I wish I had got included that one in the video. And the bottom of the deck. Wow. I think this message is an urgent one. Okay. Let's start with this. Oh, the 717. Wow. Speaking of twin flame. Yeah, it's very significant, that number. It's a twin flame. And yeah, wait. Just a second. My, my rose glam is coming out <laughs> i think that's better <laughs> all right so five of pentacles i would say you had came you had really um surpassed this stage like there's a key now this is a significant because i just saw a key downstairs and it's not mine but yeah i saw that key that was surprising as well you had surpassed this moment in your life when you feel like you were left out by someone let's just say because this is the dominant energy that i'm getting now to tap in with the uh, masculine energy and feminine energy i would say yes there, there's someone who walked away from you I think it's the masculine energy who went on his way out and you felt alone but at this time the role has reversed it's not you this in this situation anymore ironically it's the one who left that's now I would say double the sadness that you had felt or it could be more yeah and the thing is this they just use his or he but i'm referring to masculine energy um who's so caught up with his wallowing his own sadness and regrets of how he had treated you that he couldn't see that there is that key behind that can open the door there's a way out in this situation while you on the other hand it's just really focusing on your healing like literally <laughs> I just had my meditation uh, prior to this reading and uh, you have really balanced your solar plexus and this is your let's just say that central sun in the body yeah thank you and it's really um, shining bright 
me and you are so protected look at this you're in your safe bubble of white bright light just like what i always visualize when i'm doing reading both in person and yeah and seven of wands look at it it looks like the rainbow is amazing because i've been seeing a lot of rainbows not just one but a double arch rainbows every time and that's one three three and not only me like me personally seeing it but i've been i've been seeing then one four three one four four i've been seeing it online as well especially in instagram because i'm only active my social media that's active is instagram if you want to check that one out it's altina with a h underscore asibo 88 and you can see what i mean because that has been like my personal journal already and i think you are really shining brightly and you're so protected i just mentioned unicorn earlier and yeah unicorn and rainbows so actually there's a lion behind me what's going on with this lion now <laughs> yeah oh and a cat this is a cat behind me that's aristocrat marie <laughs> yeah and uh, speaking of strength and lion look just a confirmation earlier like i said you have gained that strength it's like you are hybrid kind of human i it just kept on popping up in my mind earlier like randomly just like yeah you're hybrid you're in this world but you're not of this world and there's a lamb there as well you can be s gentle but you can be first as well and you have also balanced your heart chakra and uh, you know it's just that it's reflecting this to this divine masculine connected to you now let's wow this looks like the mandala keyring in my bag page of pentacles you like i said you have come into balance and um this masculine energy i would say is really um getting his footing back as well i think he had gone through some financial um issues recently and now he's really coming trying i mean doing his best to come into balance and this is also includes um balancing his own energy so that he can come back to you correctly eight of swords i think you had reflected back to those moments that you are so conflicted but you had gained that clarity you're now on the other side of it and but this is now like i said but because that mirror so to you you know that this is going this thing that you had gone through coming you're coming at the peaceful side now this side but your masculine is now going through that i would say some sleepless nights thinking about you him his situations and you kind of energetically um get it so please do um regular washing clean i mean wash just say wash cleanse and purify yourself i mean protection as well which is really important five of wands now this i think you are this shining bright light and you have really um you have got a lot of attentions from masculine i mean men but yeah i mean yeah men but more on like the energies but let's just say men but more on energies even like I think you are this bright light that everyone wants to have a taste of you. I mean, a taste of your energy. But you are so careful at this time whom to give it with. And yeah, 
everyone's fighting for it and i would say when this masculine comes back you know that he will be fighting for your attention because he can sense it ten of pentacles now this is so beautiful because even before i can ask what will be the result of this um situation going on between you two i have already the answer answer here it's the ten of pentacles look at this look at the kabbalah yeah so this really this spirit baby that's really connecting bo both of you back together in this 3d world and there's also about children here in this faithfulness with the dog here it's really amazing because as you can see the lamps i said i mentioned earlier about diwali celebration which will be in the 12th exactly on the 12th of november but it's now going on and this is just reminding me about the the dias that i said let me have a look uh, it's quite similar <laughs> so beautiful yeah it is a clay clay hand painted dias made from india yeah so that's just really amazing and it will be a very abundant relationship when you two come together and yeah um, let's use the island time wellness um, oracle cards i'm really i'm from the philippines and i'm living here in the uk but i'm really feel so connected to my indian ancestors and i have some indian friends so yeah. i recently went to an indian temple here in the uk it's called the hindu mandir temple in Wembley, and it's so amazing when i get inside the temple that was my first time to go in indian temple and I feel the warm energy and that sense of home inside and I have seen gods and goddesses there and just really amazing and that temple is made of um, Indian limestone that were really imported from India and that temple was made was built within 14 years and it was opened summer 20, 2010 yeah, so it's really amazing This car is like quite jumping all over the place. Oh my goodness, I've been seeing these cards earlier while I was reshuffling the cards. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, contract. It's just a confirmation. Mm -hmm. Your soul had agreed that in this lifetime, this is the time that we will come back together for real in the 3D world. Hands of card, take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hand gambling. I think it's this, this masculine energy is being secretive on his plans. I think, yes, to you, not showing up to you at this time, but it's more of like being secretive to those who are around him because he's coming back to his senses in in his soul essence that um, he can't trust those people around him it can be in general looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making memories photograph now this caught my attention when i was shuffling the cards earlier and i think it's it's just really this masculine energy is looking at your photos missing you had shared i would say you had shared lots of photos videos before and even looking at your social media photos and seeing how you're doing now and getting inspired as well as how you have really evolved oh, mask not showing true feelings hide personify pretend del 
the lewd gas light thing. I would say we don't want to touch another energy, but I think there is some energy surrounding this masculine. That's why he's very secretive because some of the people surrounding him are gaslighting him, and he had just realized that he did this to you, and it just really helped him in such a way to really um to be true to his feelings first. And then to be true of how he's really feeling for you. Both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So he has realized that it's time to close this cycle with those karmic people and situations surrounding him. And to start this new cycle in his own life with you, including you. Yeah. And let's put this card at the bottom of the deck. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. This is what he wants, what he has envisioned in his mind. Maybe he wants to go somewhere tropical. I come from tropical country, Philippines. Um, yeah, like I mentioned about the sun. It still looks like the sun here. See palm trees, there is stability in here. Emotional and financial as well. Now let's get the. Uh, this is a packet size of the uh, Biola Abrams African Goddess Rising. This is very beautiful card. Ooh. So cute. I think I'm ready to read the packet size. This is the packet size type book. So beautiful. Wow, I just mentioned about pay child. Look what's coming out. Spirit baby coming in and the green color. It's very it's Queen Nandi intuition. You can remember the high priestess card came out earlier. So it's an intuition. You are following your intuition and this masculine now is really following his intuition to make a huge change in his life and to accept the fact that um, you are you together should really um, journey in this lifetime together and beyond now I'm just looking for that page we can have a read about it Nandi. That, oh, that's temple. Um, third, no, third, seventeen. It's number thirty-five. Oh my goodness! I just noticed there's a number here. Is that clear? Well, no, it's clear. Thirty-five. It's my age. And three plus five equals eight. So there's really stability there. Queen Nandi. Goddess of Intuition, Zulu, Temple Queens, Element of Fire. Wow. There's, I said, there's an element of fire in here. Very fiery. Queen Nandi was the mother of warrior King Shaka Zulu. His father's royal family first rejected her. They said that she wasn't pregnant and her belly resulted from an, a Shaka beetle sting. But Nandi knew her son would be great before he was born. Queen Nandi's guide, as you already know. Take a deep breath. And surrender to what you know to be true. Trust your inner wisdom and guidance. Wow. Yesterday, in that video, I was just talking about receiving this wisdom from your ancestors and being guided really by them on how to use that wisdom that you are receiving now and i think this is just a continuation or a confirmation as well so what is your guidance embodiment so this is how they put this thing. what is your guidance telling you put your hands over your third eye center of your forehead and ask to that one if i knew 
what the answer is, what would it be? Then follow your first instinct. My first instinct is love. I'm curious what, what's yours. The creator and your ancestors connect with you through your intuition. Wow. This series of readings is just really related to each other. Trust your internal GPS. The nudges, signs, and coincidences are divine guidance. Slow down, go for a walking meditation, be present with nature, and pay attention. Being present allows you to feel, hear, see, and sense your guidance. Well, I think this is personally a confirmation to me because I was just really, since the autumn has started here, I was just really like, this is really the time to slow down and just to integrate a lot of things that had that happened during special during the past season and yeah i've been doing walking meditation in nature yeah so i think that's a message for you as well goddess declaration i am known i think well the other cards are flashing here swatchy grounding still related ocean fearless love when I first got this card, she always come out when I do energy check. It's the peacock. Peacock is coming out as well, has been coming out. It was in my previous reading, like literally peacock um, bird card and now it's coming out again. And we have here, you are Siki, live out loud, and Asasiya, joy. Thank you so much. Because I'm so connected. I'm so connected to her. Yemaya. Awakening. Look how joyful that is. I love dolphins. I never go to my Philippine holiday. I always go to the out there in the sea and see the dolphins. It's just quite near to where I live. There. Wow. You are. There's also an omen of babies, pregnancy, giving birth. Yeah. So, the joyful season coming in much expected. I mean, earlier than you expected. Wow, thank you all so much for being here. And I thought that we, this would be just like a quick reading, but yeah. When things like this happen, I don't even notice much how, how is the time already. But yeah, this is so beautiful and I hope this helped you and um, live in that joyful state and be grateful I hope you are having um, a blessed joyful days ahead of you and I'll see you again in the next video and